So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a curve in 3ds Max. Um, so if you're working with NURBS in Maya or Rhino, um, there's a even in Max, there's a rebuild option. If you have a NURBS curve, that will allow you to rebuild it with sort of evenly spaced points. Unfortunately, with an edit spline, you can't do that. So I'm going to show you kind of work around on how you can rebuild a line with equal spacing between vertices. So I'll start by just creating a, a line that we want to use. I'm going to go to the Create tab splines in the shapes menu and use a section tool. I turn on my rotate snap and I'm going to rotate this uh, section. Let's go 90 in the X and then I'll just kind of rotate it so it's you know, kind of uh, a diagonal across the surface. And then if I have that section selected and go to my modify tab, I can then say create shape and uh, you can name this whatever you want. Say OK. And then if I, um, you know, if I delete these, I'll be left with this um, edit spline here. So if I go into the vertex of object level at edit spline, you can see there are points all over the place. They're not evenly spaced. They're based on the edit poly surface of the other geometry. And it's kind of difficult to work with if you want a really clean line and you don't care that it totally matches the surface. So the way we can get around that is by creating a point. So I'll go to my create tab and then if you look over here, a few icons down, you have the helpers. Um, and then the point. You can also, by the way, if you just hit X, you can type in whatever command you want to use. So I'm just going to create a point and then drop that point in my scene. And with the point, you can sort of change the size of that depending on how, you know, how big you want to see it in the viewport. So now what we're going to do, um, and let me change the colors lines. You can see it a little better here. Okay, so now what we want to do is space this point along the line and then rebuild a point um, that connects all of those points, or rebuild a line that connects those points together. So I'm going to go up here to the, my uh, drop downs and go to Tools, Align, um, and Spacing Tool. And then you can, you'll get a menu pop up and you can say Pick Path and you can pick that path. And then you can choose the number of points that you want to rebuild this line with. So, you know, if you want a pretty close fit, but it doesn't have to be exact, you know, maybe you use like 18, 19, but you can actually do it uh, really, you know, as many points as you want. The nice thing is uh, just to know that these are evenly spaced. And you can do different settings here. If spacing is more important to you than number, you can type in spacing uh, or use some of these other ones. So let's say I'm happy with that. I'll say apply. And I'll go ahead and close this. And now those points are along that line. So I can select this line, right click, hide selection. Um, I don't need this point anymore, so I can delete that. I can then go to my create tab and go to my shapes menu and go to line. And then the key is to make sure your snaps are on. And if you right click on your snaps, you want to make sure your pivot is selected. So pivot will allow you to select uh, or snap to those different points. So I'm going to select pivot. Uh, I'll close this and then you can just start uh, selecting each of these points and kind of drawing your line along that path. And right now I'm just doing a linear line so I can, if I want to, I can change these vertices later to make them smooth vertices. So once you're done, uh, you can right click and finish your line. You can keep those points there or it's sort of nice if you use select by name you know you can actually select all your points in this list and say OK and just quickly delete them. So this is the line now. If I unhide all, um, that's the original line. So if I go into the the new line and I go to the vertices, I can select these vertices, right click, and turn them into smooth vertices. And you can see you can get pretty close. You know obviously if I use more points I can get even closer. If you really want to, if you don't care so much about the spacing, you just wanted it to be simplified, you can always go into this uh, line and start refining it. Uh, let me turn off my snaps. You know, start refining it and then you know moving these vertices to you know better match that line. So you can get a pretty close fit without having to go through and you know delete all of the original vertices.